Hello and welcome to this session. In this session, we are going to create a very simple and small sample project in Selenium Python. And here we are going to create a test for, for Google search. We will use implicit wait for 10 seconds. We will maximize the window, create some unit tests using PyUnit or Python's inbuilt unit test library. We will add some HTML reporting library so that we can generate HTML reports and finally we will run from the command line. So let's get started and I'm going to use PyCharm as the IDE. So I'm going to go to my PyCharm and I have already have a project here. I'm going to create a new folder. So I will do a right click new directory and I will name this as sample projects and inside this directory you can see this is here and inside the sample projects I will again do a right click go to new and I will create a python file and I will name this as google search test and say ok and you can see it is here and the very first thing is I have to import selenium web driver so I will say from selenium import web driver now of course you should already have imported the selenium python libraries that we have covered in the earlier sessions so now i can say driver equals web driver dot i can use any browser i am using chrome here and in the brackets i have to give the executable path of the chrome driver exe so here i have saved all my driver exe files in a folder called driver and here is my chrome driver exe i can copy the location you can copy the entire path or relative path and here i am saying dot dot this will take me to the root folder of this project which is selenium and after this we have to go to drivers folder and inside drivers folder we will find chrome driver exe so once this is done i will say driver dot i can set implicit weight and I'm saying implicit wait for 10 seconds. So this means that whenever there will be any delay in loading of any object, the web driver will keep on checking for every 500 milliseconds until the maximum time of 10 seconds. And by default, it is set to zero seconds, but we can now say, we can say driver dot implicitly wait and we can set it for any duration. I'm saying, I'm setting the wait time for 10 seconds. So we have set the implicit wait for 10 seconds and now I will say driver dot maximize window and now I can create our test so I have to go to google.com and then in the search box I will add some text and click on the google search button so I will do a right click and do inspect to check the locators and here is a name locator name value or name property is available and the value is Q and similarly for Google search, I will do a right click and inspect and here again the name attribute is available and the value is btnk. So I'm going to use these two. So in the script, I will say driver dot get and it is https google.com. So this will take us to google.com and then I will say driver dot find element by and the name is Q for the search box and dot the action is send keys and I am just going to type their automation step by step and after this I will say driver dot find element and you can see there are a lot of functions for locating elements I am using find element by name and here the name attribute for the search button is btnk and here the action is click so I'm saying dot click and after this I will just close the browser I will say driver dot close and I can also quit I will say driver dot quit and here I am just going to print test completed so this is our simple test and we have done these steps so I can now do a right click and say run Google search test and let us see it opens a Chrome browser and it should maximize it now. Yes, it is searching for automation step by step and closing the browser. So our test is running fine and now we have to 
create unit test from these tests so for that the very first thing is we have to import the unit test module I will say import unit test and this is the Python inbuilt unit test module so it will be available and then I will have to create a class I will say class Google search you can give it any name and in the brackets I have to say unit test dot test case so we are inheriting from the test case class of unit test and a colon and inside the class I will now create some methods so the very first is we have to create a setup method now you can see we have two setup methods one is setup and then setup class so setup method will run before every test method and setup class method will run only once before all the test methods so we need setup class method because we are going to uh, open our driver or browser here so this needs to be done only once before all the methods so I will cut it from here and go inside our setup class and paste it here now make sure of the identification there should be these five spaces or a tabbed space so everything which is here is a block of setup class so you should take care of this identification in python and because this is a variable cls here you can give it any name i will say cls.driver cls.driver and here as well cls.driver so now this method will run once before all the test it will instantiate our driver and um, open our chrome browser set implicit weight and maximize window now I can create a test method I will say def and make sure that you start with the word test and then you can give it any name I will say search for automation step by step now it is very useful if you give some intuitive name so that you can know by just by the name what does it, this method is doing so it is searching for automation step by step and now inside this method I will cut these three statements and paste it inside this method I will cut it from here and paste it here again take care of the identification and here I am using self as the variable so I should say self.driver here again here self.driver and here as well so in the test we are going to google.com searching for automation step by step and clicking on this button and then let me also create another test here I will copy this and paste it again so that there are two tests and here I am just searching for my name I will say search for Raghav Pal and here I can also rename this search this thing so I am renaming the function name so there are now two test methods and here again I will create a teardown method so I will say def teardown now again you can see there are two teardown methods one is teardown which will run after every test method and then we have teardown class which will run once after all the test methods so we want to close our browser only after all the tests are completed so we are using teardown class I will cut it from here and again paste it here and make sure of the identification and because this is a uh, class method we have a variable cls I will use cls dot and again I will use cls dot and that's it so now we have our unit tests ready I can do a right click and I can say run unit tests for google search test and I will run this and let us see what happens so this is not running let us see it is saying failure and here it is saying missing one required positional argument CLS so the problem is when we use the class methods in unit test like setup class we have to give the annotation at class method here and again in the teardown method we have to give this annotation at class method and save this and do a right click and run unit tests and let us see so now it is running opening the chrome browser maximizing searching for automation step by step and then it is uh, 
so it did not run the second one there was a failure so you can see the result here the first one is pass and the second one is fail and there is some error so let it be we will see it later but our unit test is working fine now we have to run it from command line as well so let us see how to run unit test from command line I will go to this file and copy the location I will do a right click and copy the location so I will say copy path and go to my command line and first I will change the directory to the location of this python file so this is under sample projects I will go here and now I have to say python and the name of the file which is google search test.py and if I run this now you can see nothing is happening so we have to use a flag minus m and unit test so I will say python minus m unit test and now the name of the python file and run this so this should run now it is opening a chrome browser maximizing and running our tests here and this is running fine so you can see uh, one passed and there was one error so if you go a little up you can see there is dot and e so dot means pass and if there is a failure it will say f and if there is an error it will say e so this is running now here but if you just want to run it with the earlier command which is without using the flag and just saying python google search test.py for that we will have to add a condition here at the end so go at the end and say if underscore underscore name equals equals underscore underscore main then colon and say unit test dot main so now if we try to run this without using the minus m unit test flag I am trying to run this here so you can see it is still running so our tests are running fine here so this time it ran the next test case as well and this is running fine and two tests ran in 9 seconds so now we can run it from command line as well so let us now see the next step which is adding HTML unit uh, HTML library so that we can see our results in HTML file so for that what you can do is you can install so you can say pip install HTML hyphen test runner and you can actually see it here if you go to your browser and google and say python install html test runner you will get this website here html test runner and you can go here and you can use this pip install html test runner and if you want some more details you can see the description so a test runner in python for human readable html reports and here is also given a usage of this file so i will go and i can say pip install html test runner and say enter and you can see in my case it is already installed and I can see this by saying pip freeze and this is available in the python libraries I can say pip list this will also show me the same list with the all the py, uh, python packages and it is here and I can say pip show html hyphen test runner it will show me all the summary and details for this file and I will say pip check html hyphen test runner and it will show me if there are any broken dependencies so you can see it is saying no broken requirements found so this is fine I can use it so in my script I will import html test runner and then everything remains same at the end I will go to this condition which is unit test.main and here I will say uh, test runner equals HTML test runner dot HTML test runner and in the brackets I will give the output directory so I can give any location or any folder for saving the files and I have a reports folder here I will right click and copy the location and I will give it here in the output so I'm pasting the location of this folder and of course you can use a double backslash it if, if you are on Windows but it is always better to use a single forward slash which will work on Windows and other operating systems as well so I am changing all the backslashes with a single forward slash 
and yes this is done so now our script is ready and now we will go to the command line and run this again so I will use python and the name of the python file and run this so it is going to chrome and searching for our tests and it is running fine and let us see the output so it is saying generating HTML reports so now you can go to the folder and you can see it has created this report just now and if I do a right click I can open in any browser I am selecting Chrome here and you can see the two test case passed and also just to verify if it catches the error in the report we can make some deliberate error here so I am changing the name of the element btnk and I am changing it to btnk1 which is invalid and this should fail in the second test case so let us save this and run this again and check if this error is shown in the reports as well so it is running the first test case and in the second test case it is not finding the button and also you can see it is waiting for 10 seconds because we have set our implicit wait for 10 seconds so it will wait for 10 seconds and finally it has thrown an error and let us see if this error is shown in the HTML reports so it is saying generating HTML reports I will go back and see you can see this is the third report getting generated here and I will say open in browser Chrome and you can see the second test case failed because of error and if I say view unable to locate the element with name btnk so this is very intuitive and now everything is coming in our HTML reports so this was a very small and simple sample project in Selenium Python I hope this was very useful for you thank you for watching